everybody and welcome back to my channel if you're new here don't forget to subscribe like comment and share and if you're a returning subscriber welcome back as always also don't forget to like comment and share so today i'm doing this video with a very heavy heart i want to just talk about what's going on in our country right now in south africa it's honestly been devastating so for those of you that don't know, last week um, riots and looting and destruction of property started in our country. Um, this was prompted by a former president, Jacob Zuma, who was sentenced to 15 months in prison for fraudulent activity. There are a lot of videos already out there about what has been going on and why it's been going on. I just thought that I would touch on the subject. I don't want to talk too much about it, but I do want to talk about the aftermath of what we're going to be dealing with because of all of this. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a TikTok clip that I found by Avin Avinay Mar Maharaj. I hope I'm saying that correctly, but I will have all the links down in the description along with a news report links so that you guys can see more about what is going on. But I'm going to insert this TikTok clip here um, just so that you guys can see uh, like a very small clip of basically what we are left with in some provinces. It's, it's honestly been devastating. So I'm going to insert this clip here and then I'll talk to you guys afterwards. <laughs> Hi, I'm Kim Caniff, MD of Kings Me Choose. I'm standing here at Springfield Value Park. This is our store, or the remains of it. I'm absolutely devastated. Um, I don't know actually how you come back from this. We've lost three stores so far. And um, yeah, it's just absolutely devastating. My staff, what jobs, what happens here? How long is this going, are we going to take to get back onto our feet? It's just, this is just too awful. I just, um, I have no words actually. Um, yeah. I just want to give you guys some visuals here. This was the Nike store at Value Center, Springfield Park. Utter destruction. I'm not gonna go too deep. It's probably not stable. Guys, come now. I live in Hillcrest, KwaZulu Natal. This is our storage unit behind. As you can see, everything, our whole life, everything is just gone. They've burnt everything. It's like, why? Why do they have to do that? I mean, why couldn't they just take the stuff and just be done? Why do they have to burn? All my memories, all my children's photographs, everything is gone. I, what else can I say? Okay, so by that clip, you guys can see that it's it's left our country devastated. People have taken advantage of the situation and looted stores and stolen what they can steal with a lot of them with the excuse that it's due to them being hungry. 
But from what we've been hearing, there are rumors. I don't know how true this is, but there are rumors that this is all part of a way bigger plot. And the, the looting and the rioting is just a coup, basically, to um, or a distraction for a bigger criminal act that's going on. And apparently, um, from what I've heard, is there are rumors about people trying to overturn the government by hitting the infrastructure of the company. So they are attacking places like our oil refineries, our petrol um, things, all the food, um, warehouses, shops, the transportation of the foods is all being attacked and things like that. So it's actually been a week now when you're watching this and things have fairly calmed down. I'm not gonna lie, it caused a lot of stress and a lot of panic. It reached a point where communities were stepping up because the police force was outnumbered and people in their communities were stepping up and protecting where they could protect taxi drivers. The whole taxi association stood up and was protecting malls because these are places where those same people that are looting are supposed to go work, are supposed to go and and live and buy food. So at the end of the day, it's very confusing because they are supposed, this is their areas, it's where they are supposed to live and carry on with their lives. So in my opinion, obviously, I, I'm, I'm very overwhelmed with all of this and I don't understand it because the areas that have been attacked are poorer areas. It's it's areas where people that live in those areas, people that get small incomes go to work and where their kids go to school and where they buy food, which is what I don't understand. Like, why would you do this in your... I just don't understand it. But in any case, um, where we say we've luckily been okay, uh, none of the malls or anything in our area have been hit. Things have started to calm down. So the two main provinces that were hit were KZN, KwaZulu Natal. They hit, got it the, the worst. Um, that's actually where we were on holiday <laughs> not so long ago. And it just amazes me that we made it back in time before all of these things happened. That area was hit the worst. Most of the, the shopping malls there, most of the the small businesses, everything have been absolutely destroyed. People's personal belongings have been, their storage lockers have been broken into. The the, the port where the big containers come in have been broken into um, and everything been stolen and burnt to the ground. They've been hit the worst. The second province is the province where we stay, which is Gauteng. We were hit the second worst. Things calmed down pretty rapidly yeah, when the army got involved. Um, and they managed to save quite a lot in our province. Things weren't as bad in other provinces. They're saying that in one area of KwaZulu Natal, 10,000 people are unemployed now because of what happened, just in one of the areas. So they're saying it's over a billion rands worth of damage already caused just in Durban alone. So I don't know how we're gonna recover. I honestly, just want to ask everyone to pray for South Africa right now. Things are, are not going to get easier anytime soon. Even with the fact that the riots have calmed down, the looting has calmed down, um, our economy is going to suffer. We are all going to suffer. Prices are going to increase. The poor are going to get poorer. People are without jobs. There's people that are going to be sitting at home now that were sole providers for their families that can't bring an income. So many people have died it's it's just horrible it's horrible corona's numbers are gonna spike now because of what happened nobody was wearing masks nobody cared so things are gonna get tougher it's gonna take really long for our, our country to recover from this i think so i just wanted to touch a bit on that and say that i'm praying for each and every person in south africa and if i can ask you to leave a little south african flag in the comments just to show your support to our country because it's going to take a while for us to to basically heal. There's a lot of people affected by this. I actually was told a while back that a friend of a family member, when they reported him missing, 
and they actually found that he was beat up by the looters on Friday and his body was only discovered Sunday under a pile of stolen goods. How terrible. And I want to send my sincerest condolences to the family and every other family out there that has lost someone due to this horrid, horrid act. People have really taken advantage of the situation and caused major disruption. So I just wanted to touch on that and say that we are praying for our country and and for all of those that didn't know what happened, basically that's what's going on. And I will leave a lot of links down below for anybody that wants to look up more on what's going on. And yeah, but for us personally, we've been okay. Um, there's a big panic now um, because people are panic buying. They're scared of food shortages, petrol and diesel shortages, which has been happening already. Um, causing the shops to be basically empty, causing long lines, um, miles and miles of lines for people just trying to buy food because they're scared. So, yeah, we are okay. We will manage to stock up a little bit to get us through the next few weeks. So for us personally, we will be okay. I think this is the time that we all should stick together and help one another. And yeah, it's horrible. It's devastating. Um... It, I mean, we cry every day. Every day there's a report. Every day there's someone who's passed away or someone scavenging through the dirt looking for food because they've got nowhere to go to get food now. It's, it's brought so much tears to my eyes and it's honestly like it's hurt us all. It has hurt us all what has happened. It is causing racial wars where this had nothing to do with race. It's just, it's taken us back now so many years, so many years of fighting for rights, so many years of our communities getting together and slowly becoming better and better just for basically all this to start over again. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm going to say on this. Um, if you guys do have any questions about what's going on, please leave them in the comments. Um, just know that we are okay. Things are calming down. Um, and now it's just about healing. Our country just needs to heal from this. So yeah, support local businesses if you can, because that'll be really important right now to get our economy back. And please be very careful with Corona because things are going to spread and get worse. So just be careful with that and um, keep your mask on, sanitize and all of those things. Okay guys, so the second thing I want to talk about, and I know <laughs> this is going to have some of you very upset with me and I'm really sorry about that, but I'm really hoping you can understand my point. Mark and I have discussed it and we have decided we will not be doing a house tour. Um, I know a lot of you have been waiting for this. But unfortunately, with everything going on now, we don't think it is the safest option to to be showing everything online, basically, that, you know, it's just, it's not safe, for one. Unfortunately, we do not live in a country where it is safe to show everything that you have. Unfortunately, if people have to find out where you live, you could become a target. It's just not safe. So that was the one reason. The second reason was that you guys will see the house in videos. You will see um, what we're doing and when we're buying some furniture and when we're cooking and, and you'll see our lives in the house. We live here, we will be here now. So we don't really see that it's necessary to do a full in-depth house tour. The other thing also is that I love watching house tours, don't get me wrong, but I do kind of feel sometimes that it might come off a little bit braggy and that's not the type of people we are. We are not here to brag about what we have. We've worked very hard to get to where we are and I feel like this will also open us up to a lot of judgment because a lot of people out there don't know what we had to go through and how much blood, sweat and tears went into building this house and went into getting to where we are um, in our lives right now. I think that there are people out there sitting and waiting just to send negative vibes and to to judge us for, for what we've got and for what we choose for our lives, which I think people do anyway, regardless of what you show. 
but I just don't feel like that's something that I want to to give any um, I don't want to fuel the fire if that makes sense people are, can be jealous and people can be mean and this is my kids home this is our home this is not it's not for show we, we didn't do this to impress anybody or to um, pretend to be anything we're not this is just literally us having a forever home for our kids to live in even though right now with what's going on in the country it kind of seems like scary Marco actually said the other day um, and it kind of stuck with me like we waited so long to finally be in our own place or be in, a, in this house and now it feels like we're supposed to look for a new country to live in and I was just like well that's not gonna happen <laughs> but um, just saying that like brought so many emotions back we are still also very sensitive about this house because like I said there was quite a lot that went into building it and uh, there was a lot lost to as much as we gained so much don't get me wrong but there was loss um, and if people come and just put negative comments on it we are very sensitive about it and it could end up very ugly and we don't want to do that um, we are very happy in this house we are so excited to slowly grow and you know buy everything we need to buy as time goes on and the kids are gonna grow up here and you know we want this is supposed to be their forever home so I just don't feel that it's necessary for us to do a full on house tour. Um, you guys will see what's in the house and as we we go, I will show things. It's not that I'm trying to hide anything. Um, I'm just doing it one, for the safety of the kids and for us and two, just to avoid any negative energy coming our way, any um, mean comments or mean things that people say or talk behind our back or things like that. It's just, we're just not ready for that yet, if I can put it that way. So it's it's really not about us trying to hide a part of our lives because obviously you guys are part of that now. So it's it's not about that. It's just about us. Um, we're also still, still getting settled. It's only been like two months. Um, we're still trying to find our way, find our routines um, and everything. So yeah i just want you guys I, I hope you guys can understand and i just wanted you to know not to keep like waiting on it because it's not gonna come <laughs> so you guys will see the house and see the rooms and 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 whatever in future videos but there won't be a formal house tour um so yeah i just wanted to touch on that and like i said i really hope you guys understand it's it's just a decision we had to make together. This is our our space, our privacy, our lives. And even though we want to share as much of that with you guys as we can, um, there are parts of it that we feel might just not be safe for us to put completely out there, if that makes sense. So yeah, look out for future videos. I will be showing you guys bits here and there. Um, like you can see I'm sitting in our room right now <laughs> I'm not trying to hide anything or anything like that um, I really hope you guys can understand I know I'm like just going on and rambling at this point so I'm going to end this video and say thank you guys so so much for watching um, please continue to pray for our country and don't forget to leave your little South African flag um, it looks like this down in the comments um, just to show your support um, and we're wishing everyone all the best and I hope that everybody stays safe during this difficult time I love you guys so much and thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe like comment and share bye guys